Welcome back to the YouTube channel of Etoile Luxury Vintage. My name is Rihanna, I hope you're all doing well. For today's video we're filming a part 2 of what's in the back closets of Team Etoile members. I'm the lucky one to start off this second episode, so I would like to say, let's go! Alright, so I am now an intern at Etoile Luxury Vintage. Not for long anymore, I'm gonna work there, so I'm very excited about that. Um, when I first came in at It's Well Luxury Vintage, I was like, whoa, all these bags, they're so expensive. But there was one specific bag that I liked from the start. I was not actually in love with it at first sight, I have to be honest with that. But then a, a Rose came in, the other intern, and she was wearing the bag. And at that moment I was like, wow, that looks so cool. It's uh, this bag, the Dior bowling bag in the iconic oblique print of Dior. Um, mine is dark blue with dark blue leather and silver hardware. I'm always wearing silver and I'm a very neurotic with it. I have always everything in silver, nothing gold. Really nothing in my whole closet has some gold details. So I had to get a bag with silver details as well. Um, Rose was wearing this one I was like wow that's so cool and from that moment on I was starting my journey to search for the perfect one. My eye was fell, fell on this one. This specific bag it's so practical because everything fits in as you can see I have my everyday necessities in it and yeah I most of the time I wear it like this around my arm but when it suits me, I can also wear it in my hand as a handbag. That's where it's made for, of course. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this bag. This is actually my first bought vintage designer item. So yeah, this will be my baby for always. <laughs> then the second item I have, that's this uh, pretty Louis Vuitton wallet. There's actually a really fun story or a really sad story, you can name it, behind this wallet because I was having this wallet <laughs> for like 10 years yes guys 10 years i'm not lying about that so yeah this one got a little bit old and yeah shabby so i thought why not it was around my birthday i thought let's treat myself so i treat myself with this louis vuitton wallet the leather is already very dark so it's a uh, very vintage but i like that i love items that are already pre-loved um, I keep all my credit cards and other cards in here and some cash money which I'm not having a lot at this time because I cannot spend it due to Corona but I have my cash money in here and every time I grab this wallet <laughs> from my Dior bag everyone always compliments my wallet that's weird because this bag is so nice they always compliment my wallet and say they're jealous of it so I think it's also a really good present. Everyone would like a Louis Vuitton wallet. So those are my two bought items at It's Well Luxury Vintage. And I think many, many more will follow. I'm not done yet with collecting some beautiful vintage items. And then guys, there's this one thing I also really like to show you. Maybe it's a little bit off topic, but it's this Gucci bracelet. Heart shade. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but... I hope so. 
This is Gucci bracelet. I'm very thankful for this bracelet. I got it from my grandma for my 18th birthday. So every time I look at it, it reminds me of my grandma and that's really precious to me. So yeah, that's the last thing I want to show you. As I already said, I'm not done collecting yet the vintage items. I'm working at 12 from now on. So I think the collection will be expanded in the next years. I hope you like my little, little collection and let's go to the next one. Hi guys, my name is Lisa and today I will show you my um, designer items. I hope you liked the video so far and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so actually my first designer item, designer bag, is this beautiful Louis Vuitton uh, handbag. So um, I bought this one at Etoile Luxury Vintage last um, November. I started working there as an intern and I was extremely in love with this bag. So it has the pretty monochrome canvas and gold hardware and a leather strap. And actually this bag came like this. It's a Louis Vuitton Cité pochette. And I wanted to wear it like crossbody. So I attached a golden strap to it. So I can wear it like this in my hands or around my shoulder or as a crossbody bag. So this is my first designer bag and it's my baby. I love it so much. It's a quite funny story because actually this bag was about to be in the Black Friday sale. So I knew this bag was going to be on our Instagram on Saturday in the afternoon. And a Friday in the evening, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, I would be so sad if anyone would actually buy it tomorrow. So then um, I was thinking about it and thinking about it a lot on Friday. And then Saturday in the morning, I texted one of my colleagues like, is the bag still at our office, you know? And I was like, I want it. I just want to have it. It's so cute. and. I would be so sad if someone would actually buy it that I knew this was um, my bag for sure. So yeah, then I bought it and from the moment I got it, I was wearing it like every day and I love it so much. And yeah, it's my baby. It's my first designer bag and I don't think I will ever, ever sell it because it has such a good memory because of my internship and it's my first bag. So yeah, that's the story about this cutie. So actually my first designer item is this Louis Vuitton bracelet. I bought it last year in February as a gift for myself. Um, I wanted it for so long and in February like the Corona thing started and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a present for myself. Um, so actually I was on my own and I had to go into the Louis Vuitton store in Amsterdam and I was quite scared like I don't know what they expect from me like how do I behave here like everyone was buying all these expensive bags and I just had to buy this bracelet you know but the stuff was so nice and um, yeah I felt quite comfortable when they were helping me so yeah I'm still very happy with it I wear it every day and I think it's still very cute. So my third designer item is another bag. And I actually bought this one last week on Vestiaire Collective. So let me show you this cute little light blue Prada bag. Um, actually, it's supposed to be like this. It's so tiny, as you can see. But if you open it, it's um yeah it's quite big and uh, you can fit your phone inside your uh, keys your wallet so everything fits inside so you can wear it um as your daily bag uh i still need to attach a strap to it i would like to have a silver silver chain to it because i don't think this is easy to wear so i am gonna wear it like this and then with a strap around my shoulder I think it's very cute. Um, I think I'm gonna wear it in the summer actually, not now. 
um but yeah you know in the summer with a white cute dress and this cute baby bag i think it's going to be very cute i forgot to tell you guys but i also have two of these louis vuitton locks one is attached to uh, my back and one is on a necklace uh, around my neck as you may have seen in the video uh yeah these are so cute and i bought them at a 12 luxury vintage so guys these were my designer items i hope you liked my part of the video and next up is machtot and she's going to show us her amazing closet i hope you guys keep on watching and see you soon bye Okay, hi guys, welcome to my closet. Um, my name is Machtold, this is Coco. <laughs> and um, yeah, you've seen me before in previous uh, videos on YouTube. I hope, otherwise, if you didn't see them, uh, go watch them, of course. So today we're gonna have a look inside my closet and then especially um, we're gonna have a look at the vintage bags I have in my closet. Um, so yeah, um, as you may can see, this is not my entire closet I share with my boyfriend, hence the men's shoes, the suits in the back, but I uh, confiscated the main part of the closet, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, I have some vintage bags inside, um, which I'm very happy about and I want to show you today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you the bags that I uh, got at Etoile and some other bags that I got on other vintage websites, I will uh, let you know as well. And then I have one bag that I uh, purchased brand new in store. The first bag I'm going to show you today is actually the first vintage bag that I purchased at Etoile when I was working there three years ago. And it is in this little white bag. So it's a Gucci one. And let's see. Some love it, some hate it, but it's a little bamboo backpack. It's in black suede and I haven't worn it in quite some time. And I love it. It's super small. I really like the vintage look and feel of it. And um, yeah, it was the first bag that I purchased. I saw it and I, I know exactly where I was. I was at the Ouderspiegelstraat. I uh, got it outside of a bag and I saw it and I was immediately, I fell in love with it. Um, so yeah, this is my first one. I don't wear it that often. I wore it one time to a festival, which wasn't the best idea, of course, because a lot of beer came over the suede. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this baby needs some extra love. Um, but yeah, it's really just, I like it to wear it on a festival or yeah, it, it doesn't fit your daily needs. So I have thought about selling it, uh, but then I was like, no, it was really, really, really my first bag. So I will never, ever sell this one. So that was the first. Um, I have quite some bags uh, because I've been working here for three years. So um, yeah, with all the bags that we sell, I, every time I see something, I'm like, hmm, should I buy it? Another bag that I bought at A12, uh, which I've been using a lot, I love it, is this one. It's my bucket bag from Louis Vuitton, as you can see. So I wear it. My laptop fits inside. I just love to wear it. So I bought it. Um, I used it for work quite a lot because my laptop fits it inside. And uh, I got this replaced already by Louis Vuitton and the inside because it got, yeah, it started to, to fall off a little. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing it over and over and over. So the leather needs some love, as I can see right now. And I'm not using it as much as I did. I think a year ago, a year ago I wore it every single day. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is my second bag I bought at Etoile. Um, and I really love it, it's my best friend. I love it for work, it fits all your needs. Um, I like that it looks a bit like the No Way bag, which I don't have. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love that it has two straps easy to toss on your shoulder even when you're wearing a big coat so yeah it's perfect carry-on day-to-day bag 
Okay, let's see. Uh, another bag that I got at a haul. Step one. Uh, oh my god, how do I get there? So this bag I also got at it uh, from a haul actually, but I didn't uh, buy it myself. I got it for, as a present for my birthday uh, from my colleagues and my boyfriend. So that was really really sweet. It's the Fendi Baguette Mama. And this bag is absolutely perfect. I'm still so happy I got it. Look, it just is a nice shoulder bag. And I love the, uh, the iconic Zuka print on it. Uh, it just fits everything. A bottle of water can fit. I used it for quite some trips uh, with the plane as well. Uh, because yeah, everything goes in it. Let's see what's inside. Nothing right now. No. Dust bag, of course. So yeah, this is my third bag. I really, really love it. i um, still super happy with it, but the only thing is, I don't know if you can see, uh, this neat little uh, buckle I want to get replaced because it's really worn and I'm not sure if I can do that. So yeah, I like this one as well. Okay, on to the next one. Is this super, super sweet, super tiny little Prada bag. It's in purple uh, nylon and it's called Gofre. Um, so it's super tiny, as you can see. Uh, my phone can fit inside and nothing else can fit. No, it's quite, um, it's quite wide, as you can see. So my phone fits inside, my wallet fits inside and my keys fit inside. Uh, but that's about it. So, um, yeah, not have been wearing this bag a lot lately because, well, we can go nowhere. Um, but yeah, I really love this bag. I got this bag from Vestiaire Collective. Uh, it was a really good deal. I really, yeah, I'm just a sucker for Prada. Vintage and new. And that brings us to my other Prada bag, which I bought new in store. I was on the waiting list, just like everyone else who wanted this bag. It's my re-edition bag. So it's the Hobo Prada bag in black. And yeah, I love this one. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. It's super, super versatile. So you can wear it on this little strap. You can wear it like this. Or you can wear it without the big shoulder strap and then just like a shoulder bag. I would recommend this bag to everyone. It's perfect. Okay, next up um, <laughs> are these three. <laughs> okay, so these are three um, <laughs> Louis Vuitton pochette accessoires in um, furnace leather. So that's uh, patent leather. And um, yeah, I don't know why I have three of them. Yeah, I do know, of course. But um, this one I'm wearing myself. love it i really want the pochette in monogram canvas as well uh, but they are they have become super super expensive so uh, i'm doing it with this one right now um, but as you can see the little strap needs some work i think i want to replace it because it has been exposed to a lot of rain in amsterdam um, because the weather sucks sometimes right here <laughs> Go, 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 come here, come here. So yeah, this one I'm wearing myself and these two um, I'm actually having and keeping in my closet because I'm selling them right now. Um, so I bought them, for example, this one, I bought it uh, without the shoulder strap. I got the new shoulder strap at Louis Vuitton. And this one is a Yayoi Kusama collaboration with Louis Vuitton. It's really hard to find. Um, so when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to, to have this, um, even though I will have it in my closet for maybe a year, because it's really um, not a bag that everyone wants to wear. We can wear it for you. It's quite a specific bag. But yeah, the pochette model, it's, I love it. And then for this one, it's actually the, the same case, so... Love the color, but there are some red spots on it. So I'm selling this one as well. Um, and I want to keep this one because it was my first pochette accessoires. And yeah, I cannot, 
Uh, I've been complimented so much about this bag that I do not want to sell it yet. <laughs> then, the bag you've all been waiting for, Chanel. So, this bag I got at Etoile and yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't think I have to explain why I got it. Uh, I really, really, really love this bag. It's the medium classic flat bag from Chanel. Um, I've been saving, I think, for over two years to get this bag. When I started working at it all, I said to myself, I really want a classic flat bag someday. Um, so yeah, actually <laughs> I wanted a black one with silver or gold hardware. But when I saw this one, um, I knew that this one was a bag that never would come back in the store again. So I just had to have it. And it's, as you can see, all over silver. Really, really hysterical. And yeah, you can wear it on the shoulder. You can wear it like this. And you can wear it as a high crossbody bag, which I love the most. It's like, I love it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you want to buy a classic flat bag from Chanel, um, then get it right now because the prices have just been increased. Uh, the vintage market prices are rising as well. I got this bag for a really good price. Um, so yeah, hopefully if you want something like this, you can find it on Vestiaire, on uh, what, uh, what other websites are there? Rebel, The Next Closet, maybe Vinted. Um, well, you can search for it everywhere. So that is this bag. And then let's see, then I have two more to show you. Um, first off, this one. It's the Louis Vuitton Looping MM in monogram canvas. Um, I've been wearing this bag every single day for I think the last two months because, yeah, I don't know, I, I just love the design of it. Uh, I wear it like this on the shoulder, I wear it in my wrist. Uh, it goes with every single outfit and I really love the, the looping uh, shoulder strap. So it has a zipper on top and it fits everything that I need, although it is a mess inside right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I bought this bag with the potential of selling it, but now uh, I really want to keep it. Um, so yeah. And then last off is this one. It's a cute tiny Gucci bag with the bamboo, as you can see. Um, I got it in yesterday actually, and um, I bought it at Vinted. And I really love how cute it looks, look! It's just like your old grandma's bag, but I don't know, I think I can pull it off uh, with a nice outfit. I really love the bamboo uh, details on the Gucci bags, uh, also because they used it because there was a shortage on materials, so they had to be creative and then uh, started using bamboo. I really like that story and that detail. Um, so yeah, this one needs a little work. Uh, it smells a, <laughs> smells a little bit like, um, yeah vintage <laughs> when you know when you walk into a vintage store there's a certain smell well this bag smells 10 times it's it, awful no it's not awful but uh it's <laughs> not really <laughs> really nice so i'm gonna clean it uh the leather needs some work so i'm gonna do that as well so this baby needs some love but um yeah i really want to do that because i think it will be a really nice summer bag oh there's one in the back which has a really funny story Okay, so this one, uh, I actually won at Vestiaire Collective, uh, I think a year ago. It's a Balenciaga clutch, and because it's a clutch and I have nowhere to go right now because of Covid, I never wear it, but look how amazing this is, oh my god, I love it. So thank you so much for watching and having a look at my vintage bags. I hope you like them. If you see something that you really like, then just send us a message. Maybe uh, we can hook you up with a similar bag or one of my bags. Who knows? Go, go, go! Um, this is the last closet you've seen in our 
vlog this week. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the video. Um, yeah, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, of course, and subscribe to our channel. We will um, put online a new video every Thursday on YouTube. And if you want to see something else, something different, then just let us know in the comments below. See you next time.